money. Start crying right now. Don't make me tell you twice. You know what happens when I get pissed off. Go away, Dad. I'm busy. Huh? How dare you talk to your dad like that? I'll take away that computer of yours right now. That ought to make you cry. Learn how to respect your dad. No, Dad. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. You better be sorry. Looks like you still haven't learned basic manners. If you talk to me like that ever again, I'll take away Roblox from you forever. Do you understand, Ethan? You better understand. <laughs> yes, money. That's right. Keep it up, Ethan. Keep the money coming. Give me as much as you can. Don't stop. <laughs> This is perfect. I can finally buy that sports car I've been wanting to buy for so long. I'm gonna buy it right now! Susan! I'll be back in an hour. I have some work to do. Why is Dad like this? He always uses me just to get more money. He doesn't love me at all. Why, Dad? Why? Ethan, what happened? I heard Frederick call me. Nothing, Mom. He forced you to cry again, didn't he? What does it look like, Mom? Uh, Why does this happen to me? Why do I cry money instead of normal tears like everyone else? I hate being like this. I don't want my dad to treat me like this. Don't worry, Ethan. I'll talk to Frederick. You always say that. You always say that you'll talk to him and it never works. <laughs> you getting late. Go away, Mom. I'm not coming out no matter how many times you tell me to. Ethan, listen. I'm trying my best to fix everything, okay? I promise I'll talk to your dad. Talking never works. There's no point. You look at this beauty. I've never seen anything like it. A brand new Bugatti. Oh, I love it. Wait till Susan sees this. Susan! Susan, come out here! Uh, Frederick, you're back early this time. Forget that. Look at what I got. My new car. Let's go for a ride. Frederick, we need to talk. We can talk in the car. Come on, get in. No, we need to talk right now. You need to start treating Ethan better. He's not an ATM machine. He was crying all night because of what you did. Oh my god, what? He was crying all night? Wait, that's amazing. How much money did he cry? Oh my god, I can buy another car with that. <laughs> Ethan! Where are you? Show me the money you cried last night! <laughs> Ethan, come on, open the door! I'm never opening the door, get lost! Oh, so you want to do this the hard way? Fine! Let's do this the hard way! Now tell me, where's the money? Where is it? It's... it's in that drawer, over there! This is perfect! 
perfect. This is even more money than I expected. <laughs> what would I do without you, Ethan? I can get whatever I want! Don't cry, me! Don't cry! talking to him again when he gets back. Forget it! I'm going to school! Wait, at least eat some breakfast before you leave. So, how's your day been going so far, Ethan? Uh, why do you even ask? My answer is always the same. Terrible. I never have good days. Don't say that, Ethan. Come on. What else do you expect me to say? You want me to lie to you and have a fake smile on my face? Sorry, but I can't do that. Why does your dad treat you like that anyway? There must be a reason, right? I don't think he's just a jerk to you for no reason. That can't be true. There has to be some reason, right? He's just not a good person, that's all. He never shows me any love. The reason is just that he's an arrogant and disrespectful person. And he enjoys making me cry because it makes him richer and gives him more money. Well, well, well. Look who it is again. Ethan, how many times do I have to tell you not to stand here? These are our lockers, and only I can stand here. No losers allowed. Go away right now, or I'll make you. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. How many times are you going to forget, you idiot? I've told you this a billion times. You're just trying to make a fool out of me, aren't you? You think I'm an idiot? No, no, you've got it all wrong. It's nothing like that. I seriously forgot. I've just been having a really bad day, that's all. That's your excuse for literally everything. You're always having a bad day. I've had enough of this nonsense. Hey, take his canteen lunch from him. No, please, I'm really hungry. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> and whose fault is that, huh? Does it look like I care if you're hungry or not? All I care about is my respect, which you're not giving me. Yeah, that's right. You better leave now. I'm letting you off easy this time. But listen to me very carefully. If I see you standing near our lockers ever again, you won't be able to show your face in school. Tell the same thing to your friend over there. You understand, Ethan? I yeah, I understand. That's what I like to hear. Now get lost. I don't want to see your face right now. Go and never come back here. Ugh, these losers. When was the last time Ethan showered? He smells so bad. Ugh, gross. I need something to eat. Oh, I'm really hungry. I already ate my lunch. If I knew something like this would have happened, I would have left some for you. Everywhere I go, literally everywhere, Billy, someone is always mean and I can't escape it. Why does everyone hate me so much? I don't even do anything. I try my best to mind my own business, but I still end up pissing someone off. People are always mad at me no matter what, whether there's a reason or not. Hey, I don't want to see you crying. Don't cry just because of those losers. Get yourself together. 
just remembered. I can't cry. My mom told me not to cry in public or else people will know about my secret. And then they'll start using me for money just like my dad does. I can't cry. I have to stop before they figure it out. Ethan, are you alright? What are you thinking? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just really hungry, so I'm not in the right state of mind. Hey, what are you doing? Stop taking pictures of him! Who's gonna stop me? You? <laughs> I'm gonna make these pictures go viral. Ethan, the loneliest boy at school, can't even afford to get his own food. He got his own food, but you stole it. And where's the proof of that, huh? All right, I think that's enough pictures. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. Why do they keep doing this? And they just want to see me suffer for no reason at all. I never did anything wrong. All I did was accidentally stand next to their lockers at school. I also apologized to them for what I did, but they still keep taunting me. Why, Billy? <laughs> Ethan, please don't cry. Please don't. Huh? What's going on? Are those dollar notes coming from your eyes? Oh, no. oh what have I done? Billy wasn't supposed to see that. No, this can't be happening. No. Ethan, what's going on? You're crying real money. Am I hallucinating or what? I don't know what you're talking about, Billy. I always knew you were hiding something from me. So this is it, huh? This was your secret? Everything makes sense now. Your dad uses you to get rich, doesn't he? I don't know what you're saying. Ethan, you're the only friend I have in this school. I know we just became friends this year, but you can trust me. I would never betray you or take advantage of you. Tell me, what's going on? I guess I have no choice but to tell you. I don't know why, but I was just born this way. When a normal person cries, they just cry normal tears of water. But when I cry, I cry real money, as you just saw. My mom tried to hide this from my dad, but my dad eventually found out, so ever since then, he's just been making me cry over and over again to make himself rich. That's so unfair. He doesn't love you at all. He's such a moron. He really is. I hate him so much. Billy, uh, promise me you won't tell anyone about this. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. Uh, please, don't break my trust. You don't have to worry at all, Ethan. You have my word. I won't tell anyone. Uh, thank you so much. You're the best. Let's go back to class, Ethan. late today. How are you feeling? Did you have lunch? No, Mom, I didn't. Oh my god, Ethan, you haven't eaten anything all day? I prepared lunch for you. Just sit at the dining room table, okay? You can tell me what happened. There you go. This is all yours. You can eat all of it if you want to. Eat as much as you want, Ethan. Thanks, Mom. Ethan, I know you're still upset, but please try to understand. I'm trying my best to fix things. I really love you, and I don't want you to live like this. I want you to have a better life. I've tried talking to Frederick so many times, but he just won't listen. He's a horrible father. That's it. Don't say that, Ethan. He's not. He just doesn't realize what he's doing. He loves you a lot, just like I do. Seriously? Do you actually believe that, Mom? You've got to be kidding me. Please save the jokes for later. Now is not the time. Oh, 
Oh, Frederick, you're back early today. Yeah, but I need to leave really quickly. Just give me lunch and I'll get going. I didn't know you were coming, so I didn't make lunch for you. I'll start making it right away. Ugh, I don't have that kind of time. I need to be leaving in a few minutes. Whose food is that on the table? Just give me that. That's Ethan's food. He hasn't eaten anything since morning. Just let him eat his food. I'll make something for you in two minutes. Does it look like I care if he's hungry or not? I told you I need to be leaving in a few minutes. I don't care, I'm taking his lunch. Dad, what is wrong with you? You can at least share. This is making you sad, isn't it? Seeing all your food get eaten. Now would be the perfect time to cry, you know. Keep giving me that money. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving now. Don't worry, Ethan. I'll make you lunch again. I'll make it as quickly as possible. I've had enough. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. I have to do something about this. I need to stand up for myself. Ethan, listen to me. I have a good idea. It might sound crazy, but I think you should just leave the house. Huh? Leave the house? But where am I going to go? You literally have all the money in the world. You can go anywhere. Don't you get it? You're literally a walking ATM. If you ever need money, all you have to do is cry and you'll have as much money as you want. You don't need to live in that house. You can move out and live your own life. I don't know about this, Billy. I'm just a kid. I don't know anything about the real world. I'll come with you, Ethan. I don't know much about the real world either, but if I'm with you, I'm sure we can both pull through together like we always do. I've been an orphan my whole life. I've always lived in Brookhaven Orphanage. I never had any friends until I met you. Same here, Billy. I never had any friends before I met you. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe I should leave the house after all. But my mom, my mom actually cares about me. I don't want to leave her. I only want to leave my dad. But what am I going to tell my mom? I know this sounds harsh, but if you want a better life for yourself, you can't stay in that house. You should leave the house, and you can return when things get better. Wait, why don't I just take my mom with me? No, 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 don't do that. That'll ruin our entire plan. What do you mean? Your mom isn't going with you. She'll just try to convince you to stay. What if she tells your dad that you're planning to leave? Then your dad will find out, and he'll never let you leave. All right then, I know what I have to do. Have you seen Ethan? Huh? Susan, do you know where Ethan is? Isn't he in his room? He should be there right now. I searched the entire house and he's nowhere to be seen. Wait, what? What do you mean? He was in his room last night. He was sleeping. He has to be there. Ugh, find him as quickly as you can. How am I supposed to make money without him? I need him to stay rich. I'm gonna have to lock his room now so that he doesn't get out. Your son is missing. And the only thing you're worried about is the money you get from him? You really don't care about him at all, do you? Unbelievable! Dad, 
I'm really sorry, but I can't stay here any longer. I've realized that I can't live a happy and peaceful life until I move out. I need to stay as far away from dad as possible. I'm going to miss you a lot, mom, but remember, I'll come back for you. Once I settle down, start my own business, and buy my own house, I'm coming back to get you. As for dad, I hope I never see you again. Goodbye forever. <laughs> you can't, Ethan. Ethan, you're only 13. What are you gonna do out there all by yourself? <laughs> So, are you ready to buy a house? Of course, let's go! Five years since I left my house to live my own life. I must say, leaving the house was the best decision I ever made. No one tells me what to do. I do whatever I want to. I'm not stressed at all like I was five years ago because of my dad. I don't have to worry about dad at all. I bought a new mansion in a city far away from where he lives. I own six sports cars and own my own business. Life's never been better. Times are you going to watch this movie? You've seen it so many times already. What can I say? I never get tired of it. I wish I could watch it for the first time again. Well, we have to get to work now, so turn it off. Ugh, can't we take a day off? We don't have to go. We own the business. We still need to run it. We'll go bankrupt otherwise. So what? We can get all our money back pretty easily. All you need to do is cry and you'll get unlimited cash. That's such a cool ability to have. <sighs> Are you sure about that? I've always seen this ability as something bad. Nobody thought I was normal my entire childhood because of this. I have to control my emotions and hold in my tears so that no one else finds out about my secret. I wish I'd never had this ability. Hey, listen, if you didn't have that ability, you wouldn't have this mansion or all your sports cars. Just look around you. Look at how rich we are. Have you seen the cars we have? People can only dream about having a mansion like the one we have. We're unstoppable. Now, our business is the best in the country. No one can beat us. <laughs> hey, hey, settle down. We can't let the success get to our heads. Besides, money is not the only thing that matters in the world. Ugh. You're sounding like a dad again. Okay, we really need to get going now. Come on, let's go. delay you too long. All right, so what did I miss? Well, normally this meeting would just be us discussing how our company did this week and about any new updates. However, today's meeting is more than that. 
another company reached out to us two days ago to discuss a collaborative project. Oh, is that so? What company is this? It's called Coin Technologies. The CEO is here to visit us, actually. He's been waiting outside for you to come. Since you're here now, we can let him in. If you allow it, of course. Stacy, let him in. You can't be serious! Ethan, is that who I think it is? Good morning, gentlemen. My name's Kane. I'm the CEO of Coin Technologies, as you may already know. I'm here to make a really good business proposal that would benefit us all greatly, and I urge you to accept it. There's no denying it, that's definitely him. I'm never forgetting that face. That's Kane! The Kane from our high school! The one that used to boss us around? How did he become a CEO? I thought he'd be working as a janitor! He inherited his dad's wealth! Of course. What else? I should have known. His dad was always super rich. Oh my god! No way! Ethan? Is that you? <laughs> what? I didn't expect to see you at all! Me neither. You just disappeared one day and never came back to school again. And look at you now. You're a multi-millionaire. Well, too bad. I'm still richer than you. I always will be. But hey, at least you don't look like a nerd anymore. You actually look kind of cool. We'll catch up later, Kane. You're here to ask for a collaboration on a project with us, right? Oh, yeah, right, right. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> anyone else says. I refuse to work with Kane. I know what kind of person he is. He's probably trying to trick us and make us go out of business. We're one of his competitors, so he's probably thinking of a way to get rid of us. Yeah, I agree. We can't trust someone like him. The next time he comes, we'll say it straight to his face. Why can't we just tell him right now? He left just now, remember? Oh yeah, you're right. Ugh. Seeing his face just ruined my day. I can't focus on work anymore. The feeling is mutual, Ethan. Oh well, we still have work to do, let's go. want to refuse the offer? Coin Technologies is a very successful business. Collaborating with them on a project could be very beneficial for us. We would have a huge increase in Roblox. With all due respect, Stacy, I really don't care. I'm not working with Coin Technologies, and that's my final decision. As you wish. This is your company, after all. Mr. Kane will be here in about an hour. You can explain to him why you've chosen to refuse the offer yourself. Thank you, Stacy. I'll be taking my leave. Hey, Ethan, is Kane here yet? No, he'll be here in about an hour. Why are you asking? Well, Ethan, I've been thinking. In my opinion on Kane's offer might have changed. Maybe, maybe we should accept it. What? You can't be serious, Billy. Are you seriously considering working with him? You're the one that told me we can't trust him. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But think about it. Think about how much Robux we can make by partnering with them. What happened to you, Billy? You've been talking way too much about money these days. You're becoming a bit too obsessed with money. It's not a good thing. Hey, don't get this the wrong way. I'm not obsessed with money. I'm just being logical here. You know it yourself, right? Working with him can tremendously increase our Robux, and we can get his customers. All of Coin Technologies' customers will start coming to us, too. Besides, we're not idiots, so we'll be able to tell if Kane is trying to pull any tricks on us. We'll be on high alert. I don't know, Billy. I really don't trust him. I don't either, which is why we'll be on high alert and keep note of his every move. If we move forward carefully, we'll get all the benefits of partnering with him on the project without any of the drawbacks. All right, then. I'll take your word for it. I'm only doing this because you want me to, Billy. Thanks so much, Ethan. Everyone should have a friend like you. Oh, before I forget, Ethan, Alice needed your signature for something. Alice, the receptionist? She said it's for the monthly report of our company Robux or something. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about that. Uh, bring the papers here. I'll sign them right now. back to Alice. So, he's still not here, huh? Oh well, I'll go and ask Alice. It's been an hour and Kane's still not here. When did he say he's coming again? He's already here, sir. Didn't he come to your office? Huh? He's here? I didn't see him anywhere. He must have went straight to the meeting room then, sir. All right, I'll go there right now. Thanks, Alice. Also, did Billy give you the papers with my signature? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. What papers are you referring to? Huh? Did you give Billy some papers for me to sign on? I'm afraid not, sir. I didn't give any papers to anyone. There must be some sort of misunderstanding. Wait, what were those papers Billy gave me? What did I sign on? I'll be right back, Alice. I'm going to the meeting room right now. Ethan, how nice of you to join us. Come on, have a seat. He's finally here. I've been waiting for you. Why are you smiling like that, Billy? What's going on? Nothing much. I'm just enjoying full ownership of this company since you gave me all your shares an hour ago. What? What are you talking about? Remember those papers you signed on an hour ago? Yeah, I didn't get those papers from Alice. When you signed those papers, you gave me all your shares of the company, which now makes me the only owner. In other words, you don't own this company anymore. Hey, don't take all the credit. This was my idea. And now, as the new CEO, I'm not only accepting Kane's offer, but I'm merging my company with his. Billy, how could you? We've been best friends since high school. How could you betray me like this? Why? I'm sorry to break it to you, Ethan, but I never really saw you as a friend. Ever since I found out about your secret at the canteen in school that day, all I saw was money. The only reason I've been friends with you all these years was because of your money. I told you to escape from your house so that I could use your money to make my life better. You're joking, right? There's no way you could do this, Billy. No, Ethan, this is very real. I was planning on how to take over your company for years. A 50% partnership was never enough for me. I wanted more. And then Kane came along at the perfect time. Working with him is going to increase our Robux tenfold. But I knew you would never agree to working with him. 
So I decided to take the risk and try to get your signature on those papers. It worked like a charm. I didn't expect it to be that easy. You'll pay for this, Billy. I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> oh, this brings back so many memories. He always was a crybaby. Sorry, Ethan, but we don't need you here anymore. You're fired. Ah, you'll pay for this, both of you, Kane and Billy. You'll regret this for the rest of your life. Just you wait. my best friend. I never knew he'd betray me like this. This is unbelievable. Never saw this coming. I have to do something about it. I have to fight back. I need to take him to court. Listen, I know I'm not the CEO of the company anymore, so you're not obligated to help me at all, but I really need your help. You were never just an employee at my company. You were my friend, and you still are. You're one of my best friends, and I really trust you. I need your help. Don't worry, Ethan. I know what happened. I heard everything Billy said in the meeting room. I was standing outside. How can I help you? I want to file a lawsuit against Kane and Billy. I want to get my company back. Billy tricked me into signing those papers. I didn't sign them willingly. You should go to jail for this. Don't worry, I will help you out. I have contacts with the best lawyers in the country. I will talk to all of them and select the best lawyer for you. We'll prove to the court that Billy cheated and tricked you into signing those papers. Once we can prove that, you can get your company back. Thank you so much, Stacy. I really don't know how to thank you. By the way, I left the company. I didn't want to work for Billy. Huh? You left? Stacy, you didn't have to. Yes, I did. I don't want to work for a fake businessman. Besides, you're the one who gave me this job in the first place, and you're the main reason I love this job so much. I miss you a lot. That's really sweet, Stacy. <laughs> Thank you so much once again. No problem. Anytime. I want. This is my business. You're an employee. You have no say in this. Get back to work. Your opinion doesn't matter. <sighs> Ugh, what a waste of time. What was Ethan thinking when he hired all these slackers? Now that I run this company, I can do whatever I want. I'm going to make a lot of changes around here. I'm probably going to end up firing half of our employees. I need a new workforce. I also need a new secretary since Stacy left. What a pain. Oh well, it won't be too difficult finding new workers. What matters is that I now own this business finally. Hey Billy, did you hear the news? Stacy and Ethan filed a lawsuit against us. Would you believe that? <laughs> they really want their company back that bad, huh? What? Seriously? God! Ethan was always a stubborn one. I should have seen this coming. This isn't good. This will be bad for my company's reputation, and yours too. What if he's able to prove that I tricked him into signing those papers? He can bring in Alice as a witness too. I don't think you should be that worried. He won't be able to prove anything. 
He signed those papers himself, and that signature is authentic. I have one idea. It's an extreme idea, but I think it's the best way to deal with Ethan, so that he doesn't bother us ever again. Yes, this is perfect. <laughs> hey, Stacy, how's the lawsuit going? There's a lot of good news, Ethan. We were successful in filing the lawsuit. The court is going to call us, Kane, and Billy next week. We'll come with our lawyers and present our case. I managed to hire the best lawyer in the country, so there's no need to worry about anything. We're definitely going to win this case. Wow, that's such good news. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Let's hope for the best. I can't let Kane and Billy get away with this. Kane's been a jerk ever since we were in school. Billy used me for my money my whole life. He betrayed me. Everything's going to be all right, Ethan. Who's at the door? Wait, I'll be right back. Hey, who are you? I'm Mark. You're Ethan, aren't you? Well, why do you ask? So, you're the kid that cries real money, aren't you? I know about your little secret. Um, I... I'm sorry, what? I don't know what you're talking about. You're Ethan, aren't you? You're the one the cops are looking for. So, you can cry real money, is that true? There must be some sort of misunderstanding. What do you mean, cry real money? That sounds ridiculous. I just cry normal tears. Listen, boy, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. I don't want the cops finding you before me. So you better come with me right now, or I'll make you come with me. It's your choice to make. Who is this man? Or why is he here? Oh, how does he know about my secret? He's probably a criminal that wants to use me for money. I need to get out of here somehow. The exit is in front of me. Hey, I'll be right back, all right? Just stay here. Wait! Ouch! Oh, no! I definitely broke a bone. I just need to get to my car and get out of here. That's all. Come on, Ethan, you can do it. This car's right here. I need to get to the car before that guy comes after me. Stop! Don't run away! You don't know who you're messing with, kid. If you run away right now, a hundred more people are gonna come looking for you. You can't escape us! I need to get out now! send every man I have after him. If that kid can actually cry real money, then he is mine. I'll have millions in no time. Millions! But I have to make sure that the cops don't find him first. Oh, I gotta get to him before the cops do. that I cry real money. The people that know about my secret are mom, dad, and... Wait, that's it! It was Billy, wasn't it? He sold me out. He probably wanted to avoid the lawsuit I filed against him, so he's got everyone knowing about my secret now. Oh, God. I can't believe he'd do such a thing. You're such an awful person, Billy. I need to call Stacy. <laughs> I hope 
you're having a good day. Are you calling to ask about the lawsuit? Stacy, listen, I really need your help. Billy hired some criminals to kidnap me. They found my house. I barely managed to escape. What? Oh my god, are you alright? Where are you right now? I'm at the park. I'm going away as far as possible from my house. You can come to my house. You can stay here for as long as you'd like. Are you sure you wouldn't mind that, Stacy? I would just be a burden to you. It's nothing like that. I would love for you to stay here. You've never been a burden to me. Thank you so much. All right, I'm heading there. to get your signature. He stooped so low. Oh gosh, now he turned out to be even worse. He hired actual criminals to come after you. But wait, how do you know it was Billy? I'm confused about that. Stacy, listen. There's something I need to tell you. I have a secret. Ever since I was born, I had a special ability. Instead of crying the usual tears of water that normal people do, I cry real money. My tears, they're real money. Uh-huh. What? I'm confused. My tears are money, Stacy. I cry real money. Normal people cry tears of water, right? And that isn't the case for me. My tears are dollar notes. Seriously? Wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Billy knew about my secret ever since high school. Ugh. I accidentally cried in front of him once, and then I had no choice but to tell him the truth. The only people in my life that know about my secret are my parents and Billy. The parents would never tell anyone about my secret. My mom loves me too much to see me in danger. My dad wanted to use my money all for himself, so he would never reveal my secret to anyone. On the other hand, we just filed a lawsuit against Billy, so he's looking for every way possible to get rid of us. It's all starting to make sense now. Don't worry, I'm here for you. We'll get through this together, okay, Ethan? for the meeting today. It's kind of important, so you need to be there. Yeah, I'll be there in an hour. Good. Also, any updates on the situation with Ethan? Ever since he filed that lawsuit on us, the reputation of both of our companies has gone down. It's damaging our businesses, and we really need to do something about it. Reputation is extremely important to me. Remember that. The cops probably arrested him by now. I recorded a video of him crying money a few years ago, in case I ever needed to use it to blackmail him. I sent that video to the cops so that they would believe me. I told them that he earned all his money just from his tears. The cops would deal with him themselves. Hmm, well, then I guess we don't have to worry about that lawsuit anymore, right? He'll either be too busy running away from the cops or... The cops will get to him eventually and arrest him. He'll be behind bars or whatever, so his lawsuit won't be active anymore, right? Yes, we can just chill and do our own thing. All right, I'll see you there in an hour. Ugh, who is it at this time? I just woke up. I hate people, man. It's probably another salesperson trying to get me to subscribe to his service. I hate those people so much, man. You have no idea. You must be Billy, right? Yeah, what do you want? Make it quick. I'm busy right now. 
You're the one that told the cops about the kid who cries money. Oh, you're from the police. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I apologize for my behavior from earlier. Yes, I told the cops about Ethan and even sent a video as evidence. Is there anything more you need from me? Yeah, there is. I'm going to kidnap you now. So if you just stand still and don't try to run away, then that would be very helpful. What? What? What are you saying? I ain't no cop, kid. I'm a criminal. And I'm looking for Ethan. I need to find him before the cops do. And you're going to help me do that. But... but how did you find out? I only told the cops. Huh. You really don't know who I am, do you? I have eyes everywhere, kid. Every criminal in this country works for me. Now come on, get in the car. to see him please contact the police immediately using the number that you're seeing on the screen right now oh no this is so bad the cops and the criminals the whole world knows my secret what am i gonna do there's only one thing you can do ethan we need to find a way to make them forget about your secret we need to remove it from their memory huh? but how are we going to do that you sound like you're going to use magic or something you're close but have you heard of the wishing light, Ethan? Seriously, Stacy? Now is not the time for silly old stories. I need something real, something that'll actually work. Ethan, it works. And how do you know that? Because I used it once and it worked. What? So it's actually true? Yes, if you throw a dollar into the city's wishing lake and make a wish, then that wish will come true. But you only get to make one wish. After you make your first wish, you can never make a wish ever again. The hardest part is actually finding the well. I found it accidentally when I was running in the woods one day. So, do you remember the way to the lake? Mm-hmm. I remember it very clearly. We should go there right now. We just need to be careful that we aren't seen by any cops. Stacy, I can't thank you enough. Oh, thank you so much for doing all this. Let's get going right now. I've been waiting for a long while. I've been very patient, you see. Listen, I'll tell you everything. J just let me go. You can ask me as many questions as you want, and I'll answer every single one of them. As long as you let me go. Uh, that's fine, right? Ask me anything. Come on. I'll let you go after you answer my questions. First of all, tell me everything you know about Ethan. How did you find out about his secret? We've been friends since childhood. He accidentally cried in front of me one day, and then I saw it. He was crying real money. Does he have any family? Yes, but he left his house a long time ago. He used to live with his parents. <laughs> parents? That's it. That's perfect. We just need to find out where his parents live, and then threaten him. If he doesn't come to us, his parents won't be safe. Hey, that's not cool, man. You shouldn't be doing that. You're not one to talk, Billy. You betrayed your best friend that you've known your whole life, didn't you? That's how you got this business. Oh yeah, that reminds me. If you want me to let you go, I want $10 million too. You're pretty rich, right? I'm sure you can afford it. $10 million? That's too much! Well, you need to decide for yourself. What's more valuable? Your life or ten million dollars? If I don't get that ten million, you're not getting out of here alive. I'll have to get rid of you. You understand that, right? Ugh, I hate you. I won't let you get away with this. Did you just shout at me? He just shouted at me. No one shouts at me. 
All right, then. Make that 20 million. I want 20 million dollars. Do you understand, kid? You just said 10! I did. Until you shouted at me and pissed me off. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't shout at you again. Good, but I still want 20 million. I'm going to untie you. Transfer 20 million to my bank account right now, and I'll let you go. All right, fine. I'll do it. and we'll be there. There you are. I've been looking for you. Oh no, it's Mark. Stacy, he's the one that Billy hired to get rid of me. Huh? Billy hired me? Ha ha ha! Oh, what an idiot. You think a fool like him could hire me? He only told the cops. I have men that work for me in the police force. So, they delivered the news to me. You seriously think I'd work for a fake person like Billy? Stacy, we need to get out of here right now! Not so fast, kid. I have someone on the phone right now. And I think you'll be interested in talking to her. Let me go! Someone save me! M Mom? No way. Mom, is that you? <laughs> you haven't seen or heard her voice in so many years. But you still recognized her. That's so sweet. You really love her, don't you? It would be a shame if something happened to her. Don't you dare! Don't you even think about it! It's really simple, Ethan. If you want to see your mother safe, you'll have to come with me. I don't know what to do. We were so close! The lake was right there! up or we'll shoot. You'll never arrest me. I'm Mark. I'm the biggest criminal in the underworld. You cops should be kneeling before me in respect. Handcuff this idiot now and put some tape on his mouth while you're at it. Okay, we need to chase that other kid. There was a girl accompanying him. We need to follow them. That's the lake! It's right there, Ethan! That's the wishing lake! Wow, I can't believe it's this lake! Come on, throw a dollar into it and make a wish, quickly! Hey, stop right there! Come on, Ethan, hurry! is really simple. I want everyone to forget that I could cry real money. Everyone, except my mom and Stacy. 
Please make this wish come true. What am I doing here? Hey, you kids, what are you doing here? Why are we here? too close wait why do I still remember your secret well I wish for everyone to forget except you and my mom oh I thought you wanted me to forget too I trust you Stacy I trusted the wrong person before but I know you're not like Billy thank you so much for everything I couldn't have done it without you oh <laughs> that's a uh, that's really that's really Sweet of you, Ethan. I really appreciate that. We should spend more time together. <laughs> now that there's no criminals or cops after me. <laughs> I would love to. I love spending time with you. Now there's just one last thing I need to do. trouble because of me. I'm really sorry. I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> I miss you so much, Ethan. Come here. I need to hug you. It turns out that the CEO Ethan was innocent all along. He was not involved in any money scams or crime. Sources say that his best friend Billy lost the case in court and... We now have evidence that Billy tricked Ethan into getting his signatures to sell the shares to him. Billy is now in jail, and so is the person that assisted him in doing this, Kane of Coin Technologies. 